Now, the National Health and Medical Research Council says many people still aren't following the recommended daily intake of major food groups. The council is revising its dietary guidelines to take account of the latest scientific evidence on weight gain and nutritional value. Dr Amanda Lee chairs the council's review committee and she joins us now from Brisbane. Amanda Lee, good morning and thanks for joining us. Oh, good morning, Virginia. First of all, why the review of the guidelines at all? Oh, look, it's really important to keep up to date in the latest scientific evidence. There's papers coming out about diet and nutrition and health every day. You've probably seen a lot of the, uh, the more less uh, robust ones in the headlines of our newspapers. So every five years or eight years, NHMRC uh, undergoes a huge process. This time it's taken us over four years to review over 55,000 different papers to understand what the body of scientific evidence says to answer the questions what should Australians eat but nonetheless despite all that long and hard work it seems to me at least from my from my amateur reading of what you've put out as a discussion paper so far that it doesn't change that much plenty of vegetables plenty of grain cereal foods milk yogurt cheese low fat preferably and limit intake of foods and drinks containing saturated and uh, trans fats and too much sugar I mean that's what we've always been told isn't it Amanda and that is so reassuring because it's not surprising if uh, you know humans are genetically programmed to eat human food so if it suddenly came out to look as though we should be eating something differently to that we've all got trouble and we're particularly um, reassured that the uh, evidence supports what we have been saying in the past because there's a bit of a misbelief that nutritionists never agree and uh, this just shows that when you look at the scientific evidence the science really remains pretty robust and pretty reassuring. This time though we do have increased support for some of the claims that have been made for recommendations. So which claims in particular, where's the increased support and how is that reflected yeah. in the guidelines that you've come up with? Okay, so firstly vegetables. We've got a lot better data now about the types of vegetables we need to eat. We need to eat a lot more orange and green leafy vegetables and a lot less starchy vegetables. Now most of you viewers would know those as potatoes and unfortunately the most common way of eating that is as potato chips and crisps in Australia. So that's definitely not uh, consistent with optimum health gain. The other thing is too, for um, some products we now have very strong evidence that suggests that sugar sweetened beverages, that is soft drinks, those energy drinks, um, caffeine uh, fortified ones in particular, are associated with increased weight gain in both adults and children. Mm. So the dietary guidelines have strengthened to say we really should avoid those sugary drinks. And also, do you have something to say about portion sizes? Because that seems to have been a, a relatively recent discussion when it comes to understanding why Australians are getting so obese. Yeah, look, there's, uh, I mean, that's a, it's really important that the amounts of food are considered. But really, if you're eating uh, a lot of the nutritious foods that are part of the five food groups, that's probably less important than thinking about the portions in all those extra foods that are very high in energy but relatively low in nutrients. So things like um, biscuits, cakes, lollies, soft drinks, uh, takeaway foods, uh, hamburgers, pizzas, all those additional foods that can be made healthily at home mm. or uh, with, with uh, less added fat and added salt. But really it's those things that we need to really keep an eye on portions for. Um, vegetables, important to eat as much as you like, but of course if we eat too many uh, breads, um, etc., that's not going to help our waistlines either. I know that. Amanda Lee, good to talk to you this morning. Thanks so much. Okay, thanks so much, Virginia. I didn't have the courage to ask Amanda Lee what she would think of the Vegemite and toast. I've just scoffed. It's <laughs> not good. Nutritious. Not good, Paul? Apparently. Really? No, Nothing yeah. in it? It doesn't... Uh, Whole grain bread would be better than the one, the one that I had, I think. Yeah, it doesn't fill you up. So no. feel good for five minutes and then you go yeah. back for more. But there's good stuff in Vegemite. Yeah, yeah. And vitamins and sure. this and that. Salt. Yeah. Salt. <laughs> That's good. Just ask anyone from overseas that's ever gone near it. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Including Barack Obama. Never a great 